Hello and welcome to a new episode. In this episode, we are going to make this hands way that you can also modify yourself, all those variables what we are going to make. And yeah, I have updated to my Patreon this episode and all previous episodes, so you can check it out here. But yeah, let's start. Okay, let's start making this hands way. So we are going to redo whole this hands way function. But if you haven't watched my previous episodes, especially that Handsway episode, I will briefly show you what you have to do. So first I have interface and you can make interface by going here blueprints and then blueprint interface. And in third person character, you can go class defaults, no class settings. And here you can add that interface. And I have that player interface there. And in interface, I have function. You can add it here. I have this get handsway floats with three outputs, these float variables. And yeah, in third person character, there is interface functions. And now I have opened this. And then I have this movement, left and right movement that acts. And then I have mouse X and mouse Y. So in APT money, I have this blueprint update animation and then that hands is connected to it with sequence. And when you open it, I have this old system here, but there it is. I have character and then I get hands wave loads and then I can use it like that. But yeah, let's start making this. So you can delete that and then you can also delete this if you want, but you can also leave that old system here. But yeah, let's start making this realistic hands way. So first thing what we want to do, we can actually take try to get pawn owner. So we are getting our third person character that we are playing. And then we can find that get hands way floats interface function just like that. And now we can use those variables inside apt money. And we are going to start with this mouse X. So first thing map range clamped. So basically our mouse values go to zero to one, no minus one to one. And we want to actually a little bit boost that value. So we are and invert also. So we are going to six and minus six. So if we output one, we are getting minus six. If you understand how this map range clamped node works. And then we want to take our handsway rotator variable. And we are actually using it here in anim graph. We are transforming our hand right and then hand left with that rotator. And if you want to copy these values, what I have here, basically nothing but rotator and this kind of take, but it's separating. So let's take hands way rotator. You can press control when you are tracking, then it gets it. And then we want to split it. But first thing we want to actually minus. So, and we are using now Java. So most X and then Java. But now we need some new variables for this hand sway. So first one will be spring or springiness and it will be type of float. And to make stuff easier for us, we can make category hands way. We can also copy that. And then we need new variable that is mm, velocity multiplier. And then make it to be the same category. Then third variable will be damping. So like friction. And you can do that same thing here. Now we need three new variables for the roll, pitch and Java. First one will be roll velocity. And same category. Then we need pitch velocity.
and then last variable will be Yav velocity. And same category. And yeah, now we have all these variables. And we are going to start with Yav, so you can drag it here. But first, we need to take velocity multiplier. No, actually spring. And then we want to multiply. Multiply this by springness. Then we need to take hmm, minus. And we minus this from this multiply node. And we connect your velocity to multiply. And then we take damping. So we multiply your velocity with damping. And we connect this to minus. Then we duplicate that multiply node and connect it here. And now we need to get delta seconds. So our delta time. Then make another multiply node and connect it here. Then we need to take our velocity multiplier. So how fast we want this hands wave to affect. Then we connect this to multiply. And then we need to take add node, so plus node, and we want to switch these places. But you can also hold control when chasing these, but it obviously <laughs> locks a little bit. Let's wait. Yeah, connect this to bottom one. Like this. And then we need to take your velocity and connect it to the top part of plus node. And yeah, now it starts looking good. Now we take your velocity and hold Alt. So we are going to set that variable. And now this basic system should be okay. Next thing, what we want to do, we want to actually multiply again. And we are multiplying delta seconds. After that, find plus node. Actually, previously that plus node, it doesn't matter which one, because like bottom or top one, because we are plusing, so of course it doesn't matter. So we connect that Hansway rotator Jav to that plus, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Only minus and divide nodes matter. And then we take Hansway rotator and split that and connect it to Z Jav. And now we can connect this. I think this starts looking good. We can of course connect that one. And now we need to do all those other so mouse Y and then side movement. We can do this mouse Y first. So basically you have to duplicate all this code. Better way would be collapse these to functions. So it would be a little bit easier to understand. But now I just do this. It can be your homework to collapse these to functions and make it work. But yeah, let's track that to here. So we are setting also this one. And now you can make this look a little bit better. We can connect this to X roll. And now, of course, we have to change those mm, variables. So first one will be this node, we have to change it to here, roll. Make sure everything goes right, because it is very easy to make mistakes here. And then we have your velocity here, and it can be same, of course. We are using this roll, so you can hold your control and drag it over it, then it replaces it, just like that. 
Velocity multiplier is okay, damping is okay, but here we have also this uh, yaw velocity. Let's replace it. And then let's put it here. And I think now it is good. Now you can connect your mouse Y to value. And yeah, now we have our mouse inputs. So Hansway should be working now. Now let's continue. Actually, we have here yaw velocity. You can also replace that with a roll velocity. And now we have to duplicate one more time because we are making this side movement part. You can put it here top. And then we are basically doing completely same thing what we have done. So now take pitch velocity, put it here. So we are going to set it. Uh, then we connect this one here. And also connect this one here. And this goes to Y bits. And now we have to replace and change this. So this one goes bits. And then we have to replace that one with bits velocity. And also this one. Then we have to change that one. And now we can connect side movement to value. And yeah, now it starts looking good. Next, what we are going to do. Hmm. Actually, if you have that attachment pose, we can do that same thing here. So try to get pawn owner. I don't know if you have it, but take adjustment attachments and then we have to press B and branch. So if we are adjusting attachments, we are not going to do that same sway. So hands way rotator, set it here and true part goes here. Then we need rotator interpolation. But first take hands way rotator and then find it R interp to. Now connect this one. And now we need to find target. And some good values could be like minus 15, 10, and then minus 20. Then we need, of course, delta time. So find delta seconds. Get delta seconds. And then we have interpolation speed. And we have actually hands face speed variable here. We can use that one. Of course, it is optional. This is default value of two. So it's basically the same thing if you put two here. So it doesn't matter. But now we have it. We can use it. Then branch force part goes to hands way. And yeah, this is should be correct now. And now we can start modifying these variables. So spring motion, how much spring motion you want to have. Go to edit defaults and we have this slot for the hands way. And of course you can decide what values you will be using. But some basic values could be like five. Then velocity multiplier, how fast this hands way affects. And it could be something like 30. And then damping because we have to like have friction for it. So maybe something like 0 0.3 could be good. Then we can compile and we can actually try it out. Yeah, now we have this spring motion. Maybe a little bit too much hands way. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, Actually, this goes wrong side when you are moving left and right. It's of course preference question, but I, I would like to invert those. So you can set that actually to be minus six and that bottom one to be six. So th those are inverted now. You can try it out like that. But like I said, it's preference question how you want it to be.
but now you can start modifying those values and find your best best values maybe lower this a little bit the tree and you can maybe mm, decrease damping a little bit and increase velocity multiplier a little bit if you want but essentially it's up to you yeah i think this looks pretty okay thanks for watching and see you in next video bye